In this video, I will explain why you should enjoy the process of everyday activities while striving for the results that you desire. Because achieving goal success is short-lived and is a process that takes most of the time. So we must learn how to enjoy this process. This video is also part of 7-day challenge sheet series. So at the end of the video, I will be giving away a personalized challenge sheet so you can start to work towards your goals. Hey guys, this is Yanis from Driven by Goal, helping you to achieve your goals. Since early childhood, we are taught to strive for results. It's winning the game what matters and getting good grades. While focusing results is fine, we're not taught how to enjoy our everyday processes, although it's the daily grind what takes most of our time. As Tom Clancy once said, an overnight success is 10 years in making. The problem is that it's not the goal that makes us happy. For sure, we all feel excited when we achieve something, but this spike of emotion will level out and go away. And now you have another goal with a lot of work to be done before achieving it. So being able to enjoy the process will directly impact your levels of happiness. When we start something new, we find the process fun and interesting, but with the time that feeling goes away. Your job was interesting at the beginning, but now it's only frustrating. You could put hours upon hours on that passion project of yours, but now you don't even want to look at it. Your new smartphone was fun to play around for a couple of days, but now it's just sitting on your table or in your pocket without any excitement. It does what it does, same as your old smartphone did. See, when we achieve the things, we tend to enjoy the process less because we have lost that what motivated us in the first place. So why results don't make us happy? There is a concept known as hedonic treadmill that describes tendency that humans have to get used to the things that once made them happy. We return to the stable levels of happiness despite major negative or positive changes in our life. According to this theory, as a person earns more money, their desires and expectations raise in parallel, resulting in no permanent change in happiness. We also have access to the research that backs up this theory. We know that lottery winners return to the roughly same happiness levels they had before the life-changing event. And we also know that making more money doesn't necessarily make a person more happier. Now, money is an easy target to strike for, but the same applies to any other of your goals. When you achieve something, you have a few moments to taste the fruits of success until there is another goal in its place to shoot for. It works out that we spend most of our time reaching for the things that we don't have time to enjoy. Because once you achieve your goal, there is another goal in its place and then is a, there is another goal after the next one. As Carl Rogers puts it, a good life is a process, not a state of being. It's a direction, not a destination. I want to share three things why you should enjoy the process more. Number one, focusing on the process will develop long lasting habits. A creating daily routine is recipe for long-term success. A good set of habits will keep you in a good health and peak productivity state. Number two, process-oriented people are more confident. I think you would agree that confident people do better in life. And confidence comes from a lot of work and attention to minute detail. Hundreds or not even thousands of hours of work breed confidence. And it would be terrible if you only enjoyed the end result and not the process that got you there. Number three, finding joy in the process is the main ingredient for long-term success. A modern world has made us impatient. The advent of internet and especially smartphones has given us access to that gratification in seconds. Funny videos, games and other distractions are just a few taps away. And if you don't get it now, we don't need it. But this is not how you cultivate success. You cannot expect to become a millionaire in a week, or you cannot expect to transform your body in a month. It all requires a daily grind and a lot of work to achieve a desired goal. So you must find a joy within that process so you can keep doing it over and over again. So let's have a look at the usual process. The usual situation is that we have a goal that requires a certain process to reach it. So we do the work until the goal is reached. 
Then follows a brief moment of happiness after which a new goal is set which then requires a process to reach it again. But as we know, this model is deeply flawed. Happiness from reaching a goal is fleeting, it doesn't last. Furthermore, according to research, most people doesn't even know what makes them happy, so there is no guarantee that the goal you're striving for will bring you any happiness when you reach it. Even Olympic athletes frequently get depressed after the Olympic Games because the goal they've been working towards for four years is gone now, no matter if they got the medal or not. Therefore, going only for the reward while hating the process that gets you to that reward won't make us any more happier or more motivated. In fact, it's the opposite. You'll start to hate every step of the process just to get that reward that won't even make you happy for that long, which then results in a lot of procrastination and even quitting it altogether. So why go for a reward that will make you spend most of your time being dissatisfied and unhappy. Instead, try to find the things you care about and that suck you in for hours without carrot on a stick. Try to work on the things you enjoy or try to reframe your mind to find enjoyment in a work you already do. And if you can do that, you'll be much more happier. So here are the few things that you can do to enjoy the process more. Number one, is take your time and don't rush. We all want to rush towards our goals, but rushing all the time is simply not good for you. The chances are that you can burn out, but the main problem is that you cannot enjoy the process if you're in a constant rush. So I suggest on a constant basis to slow down and evaluate the progress towards your goals. The chances are that your goal is not a sprint, but a marathon. So keep a steady pace and don't exhaust yourself before a finishing line. Number two, practice self-awareness. If you really can't enjoy the process that you're doing at the moment, then you should be looking for the reasons why. Maybe you can look at the situation from different perspective and find something enjoyable there. Being self-aware about what motivates you and what makes you happy is an important step towards enjoying the process. So dive deep into your mind and explore. Self-discovery should be the process you practice regularly. Number three is experiment. One of the reasons why we don't enjoy our tasks is because they have become mundane. It's just the same thing over and over and over again. So a great approach is to try to achieve the same desired result with a slightly different approach. This is not just gonna uh, make the tasks more enjoyable, you can actually end up doing the same thing in a quicker time, and that means you're more efficient. And this leads us to this week's challenge. On the worksheet, there are five boxes for five goals you have. Write them in. Now, under each goal, you have space to write in three things you enjoy about the process of reaching these goals. If you don't have anything to enjoy at the moment for any of these goals, then try to come up with something you could enjoy. Maybe you can connect your daytime job skills to your passion project. Or maybe if you're not so keen on exercising or running, you can find a partner and turn this time into the productive socializing time while still getting activity done. Changing the perspective on the things that you do can really improve the way you live your life. To get your challenge sheet, go to the description box below and download it from there. If you have already joined the 7 day challenge program before, then you don't have to do anything and your challenge sheet should be in box right now. I will be doing a new episode with a new challenge sheet every week. So if you don't want to miss any upcoming episodes, then make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. This was me, Yanis from Driven by Goal, helping you to achieve your goals. And I'll see you guys in another episode. Bye.